pública, güey. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's welcome. Magic for special. normies. <laughs> um, this is a very special Halloween episode. Um, mm -hmm. if you haven't noticed, we are in costume tonight. Yes. Um, I am Witch Sorin, and I am joined tonight great. by... Zuby, the Dungeon Master. Zuby! Roll for, in roll for initiative, everybody, because it's about to get crazy. And Do it, everybody. Backslash roll. Do it. <laughs> roll right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was a wow reference, is what that was. Yes. Yeah, it was. Um. So hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Colin. Hey, Ballsand. Hey, Daddy Storm. Hey, JJ. Hey, Efren. Hey, hey Efren. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we we're here tonight to talk about magic, and we have some really fun stuff planned, and we have some. Spooky stuff planned. Oh wow, somebody did roll. Invalid number uh -huh. of sides. <laughs> Wait, apparently one of my bots oh. can do some kind of roll or something. Oh cool. So ooh, I got a nat 20. Boom. <gasps> oh, Zuby rolled Boom. a D20. Very nice. Everybody in chat is dead. Sorry. Oh, it fits with your costume for sure. It does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yes yeah, so also tonight um i am raising money for extra life i'm sure you all have seen uh the game day extra life game day that's gonna be happening happening on november 7th where a lot of streamers get together to raise money for children's hospitals and um i am personally raising trying to raise 500 dollars for my goal, and um, tonight there's a special incentive if I raise half of my entire goal. So tonight, if I raise $250 during this stream, at the end of the stream, chat will get to choose Ooh. a Halloween costume that I will put on Daisy. And I have Ooh. lots of costumes here that chat can choose. So, what options do we have? Um, the options that we have are a witch, witch costume, a cute pumpkin, um, a queen, a queen costume, and a dinosaur, or and or a dragon. It can be either one. It works works either way. So, if you want to donate, you can type exclamation point donate, and my chat will show you the link. That so, is so cool. It's not poor Daisy. She will love it. She loves being in costume. Yeah. Yeah. All cats do. Yeah. So, <laughs> absolutely love it. So, also, another part of my fundraiser, um, if you donate $10, you can be entered into a giveaway that I'm doing, and the giveaway winner will get a bundle of gaming supplies from Inked Gaming. It's like a play mat and sleeves and some other stuff. And... Um, another prize that the giveaway winner will win is a Secret Layer Women's Day that Ooh. has been donated very generously by Efren. So, oh, nice. So, um, y'all need to go and donate to my Extra Life. Um, every, every yes. $10 that you donate will be another entry into my giveaway. So, that is is what's happening it's very exciting um my giveaway awesome. yeah my giveaway is open from now until november 7th when the extra life campaign will be over so you can enter anytime from now until then so awesome yeah awesome. so that's the big deal tonight um oh i hope we make that goal um oh yeah. data storm just donated ten dollars oh thank you so much data storm oh oh dang why didn't i get a pop-up I, I just saw it in uh, your add-on for the um, on the in the stream. Was oh, it supposed to shoot. pop up on your yeah. OBS? Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, that's weird. Oh, we'll maybe, just have to keep an eye. We'll have to keep an slow. eye on the stream. 
Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank, thank you so much, Data Storm, for donating. Yay! Oh, you, you see that JD will also add a foil thought seize for hitting the goal as well too. <gasps> oh, dang! Well, JD, you don't have to do that. Dang! Oh wow! That's thank so you nice so of you, much. JD. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, Colin O'Clock just donated ten dollars. Colin O'Clock oh. just donated. I need to fix my add-on, obviously. Yeah. So oh. while you're looking at that, <gasps> wait, real quick, it's happening. Oh, oh, it's happening now. There's no words, but there's a thing on my screen. Oh, the the little Nian cat. It didn't is say it, anything it, though. It's oh. doing it again. Is it? Did you have to turn it on and it's just I slow mean, or something? No, or? I I didn't do anything just now, and I tested oh. it ye like yesterday and everything. That's weird. Okay, it's messed up. But but thank you so much, everyone who's already donating. That's so cool. Thank if, you so much. If you donate, just tell us, and we will um, we will yeah, cheer for you. Yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on the the add on too throughout yes. the show. Yes. Um, so speaking of extra life, uh, I also this is related to Pixie's thing, uh, Card Sphere, because we are both sponsored by Card Sphere. Um, we have a Card Sphere Extra Life uh, team going on too. Uh, we've got, uh, I think it's just three of us right now. Um, it's me, Pixie, and Michaela, Mythic Michaela, are on the Card Sphere team. I'm going to link the uh, team page. And what's really cool about the Card Sphere team is even though the Card Sphere page has its own. Um, sort of like donation goal uh everyone on the team's donations all link to one another um oh did someone else just donate jj 30 bucks JJ, oh my god thank you and thank you for gifting the sub curious oh wow you. thank you so much wow thank you oh thank you for the sub gift yes. um so i just linked the team page for card sphere um, it has all three of us on the page there, uh, me, Pixie, and Mythic, uh, Mythic Michaela. And um, so this should be fun. We're getting notifications, but it's not its not saying any words for yeah, the extra Yeah, it's not saying who thing. it is. So hmm. that, was this, that was for JJ. Thank you, JJ, for donating. That's awesome. And somebody else donated, and I think we've missed it. Tell us Zuby. if you're the one who did it. Tell us if you're the one who donated. Yes. We want to cheer so, for you. JD says Zuby Day left or right, or Zuby say left or right, left, because I'm left handed. Boom. You are? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah. I can't do anything with my right hand. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, it it, it kind of runs in my family. Um, And uh, it's my daughter is left handed too. Oh. Interesting. But so I'm excited about this extra life thing. Um, yeah. Just like Pixie, uh, we are, I'm going to be working on, I really got to sit down and plan out some other extra life stuff we're going to be doing. Um, but so I hope we make our goal tonight. I want to see Daisy in a costume here. Yeah. Totally. Be really cool. Yeah. Sweet. Um, what else are we talking about here at the start of our show? Oh, there's one other little announcement you got to make that's happening Sunday. Oh, yes. My next stream. <laughs> my next stream will be right back here on Sunday night. I'm going to be playing some Paper EDH with Zuby. And Efren will be joining us. And our fourth player is going to be Gavin Verhey. He's going to be playing... Who? Uh, Gavin, that? he works for Wizards of the Coast. He helped design oh. a lot of the Commander Legends previews that you maybe have been seeing. Really? Um, yeah, so, yeah, he's oh, going to come dang. play EDH with us, so it's going to be a really fun time. Oh, dang. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. we're getting the, the person who, like, helped make Commander Legends and who's helped made a lot of our favorite magic sets the past few years? Yes. Yes. No. Yes, oh, he's crap. gonna be coming to play EDH with us. You think he's any good at magic? Probably not. He probably yeah. doesn't actually play. Let's be honest. Yeah, he's probably just a normie like us. Pro yeah. Barely know how to play. <laughs> just a poser or something. I yeah. don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
<laughs> oh god. We'll yeah, see. he's he's gonna wreck our faces probably. Yeah. So we're doing that right here on <clears throat> Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. So join us then for some really fun EDH. I'm gonna play my Linda deck. I am excited about it. I'm definitely excited. Me too. It's gonna be fun. Super fun. I'm gonna play Grand Arbiter. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> I, you tricked me. I was like, ooh, no, 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 no. 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 What? No, you're All not right. allowed well, to. Well, it's, it's, I'm tempted to either play Ashaya because I just built it finally today or okay. or maybe something like I'll figure it out. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to know right now. It's all good. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be super fun. Um, What else has been going on lately? What's up? What's been up with you, Zuby? Um, I have, I'm on day nine or 10 of my staycation. Oh, going wow. On right now. That's a long time. Yeah. And I've done nothing but play World of Warcraft and Magic oh. and stream. That sounds like and a fun staycation. It, it has been. And I've been uh, staying up really late, waking up really late <laughs> and just being a complete doing nothing. Complete that's, lazy bones. That's okay. You'll be back. When are you going back to work? Monday. Oh, Okay. And I, and my day is going to be freaking jam packed already. Oh man. I've, I've got hundreds upon hundreds of emails that I need to go through on Monday. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah. Well, you're going to make It'll up for though. all the extra sleeping in and oh, yeah. video game play. Uh oh, what happened? Dang. Well, what happened? Oh, Baltan, Baltan just donated $30. Thank you, Baltan. Woo! We are $150 away from our goal. Right we want to see Daisy in a Halloween costume, yes, don't we? Yes, we, we need to see Daisy in a Halloween costume. She's going to be so cute, y'all. She's going to be so cute. And it's she's going to be so angry, too, at the same time. She's going to be a little angry. <laughs> but I'll only keep it on her for a minute, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, uh, um, besides that, trying to, uh, that's, I mean, that's about it, really. Yeah. I mean, I have streamed a little bit extra this week. Oh, I did my cooking stream yes. earlier this week. That was super fun. I know. It looked fun. Yeah. I'm sorry I missed it. Like, I was in the, in and out. It it's was fine. on mute. It's fine. I mean, the, the I've been... looked good. I've been streaming in the middle of the afternoon. So, yeah. you know, that can be a hard time for people. It's totally understandable. Um, and then yeah. I streamed Arena yesterday afternoon for, like, three hours. And it was actually fun. <laughs> Fun. I know, it, playing a lot of Brawl, I saw. Yes, and like all of my games, I played against, you know, friends, people in chat, everyone. Like, I didn't play, I didn't play in any queue at all, ever. So, for me, that's kind of the key to having fun with it, is just playing yeah. against friends. I, I, exactly. That's just way better. It's, it's less competitive, yeah. you know, it's not just like, oh, I'm just grinding through this, just to do yep. it. Like it's actually like, oh, I'm ju I'm playing a game with my friend, so it's fun. So which I think it's exactly why I started building that arena cube too. Yeah. Because I want to be able to play with people on my Discord. Baltan helped me build the peasant cube. Yeah. And we tested it out a little bit last night because we finally got it finished. I mean, there's definitely some changes that got to be done, but it's gonna be so much fun to play. Yeah. With it. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I mean. It's going to be a sort of different, but yeah. I'm excited. I mean, I think playing with a group of friends, like, that'll be super fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Um, So, I guess let's talk about Commander Legends or something. Uh oh, are people excited about that set? I don't know. Like, have we even heard much about it yet? Is there a lot going on with it? I guess this week there is. Yeah, because I, I guess, guess there's so. like previews going on or something. Yeah, I guess um, I've seen some. I've seen some stuff around. Yeah, I've seen some stuff in Discord, Twitter. Um, Data says, "How just... did you test it out on your cube thing?" Oh, so it was uh, just like a draft simulator, right? Yeah, Pretty so much. I have my cube on um on a uh, cubecobra.com. Really awesome cube site, and um, you can uh play test uh your draft on there you can like do draft sealed and all that and then baltan and i uh tested it out on the Hiroku app yeah zuby's cubie yep it's great <laughs> and um so we tested out on there too and um really really cool site we we didn't test play 
like against our decks, right. I we were just doing a bunch of play tests to see what colors seem too good or too weak and all that. And it's so yeah. it, it just needs more play testing. Yeah, that seems like fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so I guess I will share my screen and we'll talk about some Commander Legends. So, oh, all those blue cards. Oh, oh man, what a, what is chat? liking about commander legend so far tell us y'all jd says jewel jeweled lotus makes me so happy all right let's talk about this card first hold on one second let me get um, jeweled lotus let me share my screen oh it's Zuby. hey Zuby. hi okay here we go we're pulling up we're pulling up <laughs> um scryfall and we are going to look at these cards so jeweled lotus that's what we're going to talk about um yes all right. How are you? How are you, how are you sorting them by date? Well, right now it's by date. Yeah, we can go by color okay. or something Re if you. No, want no, to no. Re release date is. Fine. Is fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, I just want to sort of have the same. Yeah. Jeweled Hopefully. Lotus. This one just got like previewed just like this afternoon, right? Yep. First of all, can we talk about the art on this? It's really pretty. Oh my god, it's freaking amazing. It's beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's it's just iridescent, and it's like in a cathedral, and it's like sitting there on a fancy pillow, and I'm just like, this is amazing. It's I I love it. It's um, I don't I I don't know any other way to describe it. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's it's beautiful. almost like one of those things you'd be afraid to like even have to carry and hold somewhere. <laughs> you don't want to drop you know? that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, it it probably costs less than an actual black lotus, though. Actual black lotus card. I'm sure it's. <laughs> yeah. So it's an artifact. It costs zero. Mm -hmm. Um, you can tap it and sacrifice it to add three mana of any one color. Spend this mana only to cast your commander. So this is this is great for getting your commander out. Um, oh, it, it's and it's basically a commander's version of Black Lotus. But mm -hmm. you know the downside is you can only use that mana to cast your commander. And right. I don't. I mean, maybe this card is like really abusive in monocolor decks and all that. But is there a lot? Okay, so. I, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't even really know when you play Black Lotus, do you have to sacrifice it? Yeah, yeah. But it so so this is essentially the same card as Black Lotus. The okay. only difference is spend you can this only mana use to cast your commander. Your commander. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So I I mean the sacrifice part. Like how much how much artifacts stuff is there? Like ways to get artifacts back from your graveyard. Is that they're, pretty they're, common? They're, they're, yeah, it, it's it's pretty common. There's a lot of ways. Like, um, so there's the card, um, the mono blue Urza commander that's really popular. Okay, that costs four mana. So you could essentially cast your Urza commander on turn one. You play an island, then gotcha. you play this, mm -hmm. and turn one. But the thing is sure. that this is also it, people bring up a lot of good points. Like, is this even worth slotting in? compared to some other artifact cards that may be a little bit more useful, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, because people are worried, like, oh, this is going to be an auto-include, like Soul Ring and all that, and mm -hmm. it's just for, maybe for monocolored commanders, but Yes, I, I totally agree. Like, I don't think, like, for a monocolor commander, sure. It's a great card. But I just, yeah. I don't feel like it's going to be, like, a staple in every single deck. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be decks that use it, but it's in the also, grand scheme of things, it's, it's mythic. not. It's mythic. Like it's it it might be it might be something that's in like every single more high power deck, but you know, if you're playing yeah. more casual, you're not you're not going to have this in every single deck. Yeah, I, I agree with what Levdev says. It's not going to break the format. Um, it's going to be super good for mono colored and possibly two colored commanders. Mm -hmm. Any anything three or more, it's not going to be very good. Yeah. I, I mean, I like it. I think it's a good card, but I think that once again, the Twitter is kind of overreacting about how As good usual. it actually I mean, is. Are we surprised at this point? No, we're not surprised. <laughs> it's, it is to I mean, be expected. 
they always they overreact of everything. I mean, I'm just what I love about this card and what made me go what the fuck for this card was <laughs> it it's they've essentially found a way to try to basically print Black Lotus without printing Black Lotus. Yeah. And I'm so freaking like happy about that. Um yeah, it's it's a worse Black Lotus, but mm -hmm. It's I love it. I love I love seeing this card. Yeah, I mean you would obviously only ever play it in EDH, so yeah, you can't play it in any other format. Wouldn't that be hilarious if somebody did though? It'd be <laughs> so just like the I'm, worst. I'm sure I'm sure there'd be some sort of legacy deck or vintage deck that people would figure out a way to abuse this somehow. <laughs> how i have no idea i'm not that smart when it comes to magic yeah. but there'd be there's got to be some way where you play an artifact sack it and kill you know kill target player or something like that i don't know it's gonna be a brawl all-star yeah oh loved it yeah sure. cheerios yeah cheerios but that is stretching it um a brawl all-star too yeah sure if people <laughs> play brawl wait no this this well, no, this won't be in Brawl because Brawl is only standard. You got to remember that, Efren. Yeah. I mean, it's a good card. It's good. But it's not like I'm going to quit playing the game because it's just too good. Yeah. And, it's, and I'm mad it's, about it. <laughs> and like our play group and our meta and all that stuff is. Yeah. Not, not even, into this. We're, we're not like at that high level no. or anything. No, we're not. We're certainly not. No. So, okay, so I think we like it, but we're not going to, like, flip tables over it like some people yeah, for sure. are going to. But all the people at my Commander Pod and my LGS are going to be playing it. Well, those people suck, all right? <laughs> Stop playing with you those know. people. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, okay, so do you want to, what do you want to do? Go through, like, what uh, do you want to look at? What do you want to look there's, at? There's uh, three visits. That got reprinted. What do you mean visits? Three visits. T-H-R-E-E -E, visits. That's the name of a card? Yeah, three visits. Um, keep scrolling down. It got printed, or they announced it the other day or something, or? What color is it? Oh, oh, you're doing spoiler date. That's what you're doing. Okay, okay. Let me do spoiler date then. I can do color. That would probably be easier. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess. Yeah, let's do color because um, it's a green card. OK, we'll look at the greens Yeah, called three visits. OK, so it's color and then it's alphabetical. OK, three yeah. visits. OK, I, I haven't seen this one, apparently. So this is a uh, really old ramp card that was only printed in Portal Three Kingdoms. And if you look at the price for the Portal Three Kingdoms, it's $115. I see that. Uh, that's only because it was ever only printed once. I mean, it's not that great of a ramp card. Hmm. Like, it's it's good. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's cool that this is finally seeing a reprint here. Okay. I, so I'm I excited mean, about that. Just another ramp card. Yeah, it seems good. Because green needs more of that. Yeah, green definitely needs more ramp. That's, there's yeah, not enough. It, there's not enough. Um, um, what did, no, what JD it? said, can we look at a Sphinx? Can we look at that Sphinx? Which one? Uh, oh, the, the blue one. Um. Is it mono blue? Yeah, it'd be mono blue. Oh, what is it called? Oh, it's one that like, we were all going crazy over yesterday or something or. Um, oh, Sphinx. No, not Sphinx of the Second Sun. I thought it was. Oh, oh, that's right. It's in like Japanese or something. This one? Yeah. Yeah, it's like Japanese Scry or Chinese. Scryhall Sphinx? Yeah. Okay. So if you would look at any number of cards while scrying, draw that many cards instead. That's disgusting. Okay, wait a second. Okay, so four blue blue flying, so five six. If you would look at any number of cards while scrying, draw that. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. So That's there, pretty good. There are a lot of cards like um, I have one in my cube. It's a common from 
Uh, hold on, let me find it in my. So there is. It's from War of the Spark. Um, called Tamio's Epiphany. It's three and a blue. So you play that card in, in this, this Sphinx deck. So Tamio's Epiphany is scry four, then draw two cards. So for four mana, you draw six cards. Gross. That's, that that is gross. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that card's gonna be disgusting. That that's like one of those kind of cards you, if that Sphinx gets out on the battlefield, kill on sight. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just look at um. Let's just go over these blue cards. While we're the here most in blue. Amazing. The most amazing counter spell, Forceful Denial. Okay, let's look at it. Forceful Denial. Three blue, blue. Ugh. And cascade. Send cascade. When you cast a spell, exile cards. I don't know what Cascade does. I have to read it. When you cast right. a spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land card that costs less. Oh. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exile cards in the bottom of your library. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. Huh. And th then you counter target spell. Okay. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. Five five mana to counter a spell, though. I guess the cascade is what yeah. makes it good. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah, that's gross. I don't like that. I love it. I mm -hmm. love it. You would. You would. I would. I would. I would. What else do you like uh, in blue? Do you like this Kraken? Uh, the Kraken? Brineland, Bor the Moon Brineland. Kraken. Mm hmm When it enters the battlefield or whenever you cast a spell that would convert mana cost six, or you may return target now. It's okay. I like the art of it. It looks the cool. Car the card itself. That, that This looks like a card that would have been in Zendikar. Hmm. But they didn't put it in because of the partner mechanic, I guess? I mean, are you saying that because it literally has like the Zendikar floating things around it? Yeah, the Hedron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I really like the uh, Court of Cunning, the enchantment. Okay. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, any number of target players each mill two cards. If you're the monarch, <gasps> they mill ten cards instead. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. That's so mean. So, e so, regardless, everybody's going to mill two. And okay. if you happen to be the monarch, they mill ten. So when this comes into play, you become the monarch. What if you yes. remain the monarch? Then on your next upkeep, you can make any number of players mill ten cards. Oh, I see. Any number yeah. of target players each mill two cards. So that even includes yourself if you want to be able to mill yourself. I gotcha. Through. If you're the monarch, you make those players mill 10 cards and said, Ugh. Gross. Zuby, you're not allowed to play that card against me. Ever. I am. No. Well, ju just, no. just play a graveyard deck. A deck that you want cards in your graveyard. Yeah, but not that many. Yeah, but you know what? No. It's really good. Oh, 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 okay. One last blue card before yeah. we go on to mm -hmm. others. That mnemonic dilute day. I knew you were going to talk about this. <laughs> it looks so amazing. Six blue, blue, blue sorcery. Exile target instant or sorcery card from a graveyard. Copy that card three freaking times. You may cast the copies without paying their <laughs> mana cost. Exile mnemonic deluge. That looks amazing. Like, is this person okay? Because I think not. They, what they did, so this three-eyed person, they they exiled Dig Through Time out of someone's graveyard and um, cast it three times. And yeah. um, was able to cast Dig Through Time three times and just look at all the cards I drew. It was I would amazing. be so mad if somebody cast that and took one of my cards i would be like oh uh-uh no well it's, for, well, it's out, out of your graveyard so you know you're out no you're, you're not gonna have it probably goodbye no mm -mm. gross it's amazing it's amazing okay we're moving on we're done with blue blue this these blue cards are literally making me sick do we want to look at white yeah let's look at white um i haven't looked at 
I haven't looked at many of these cards. Is there anything yeah. you've seen that's really like that you really liked? I like the Seraphic Greatsword, the white artifact. Okay. Um, equipment. And mm -hmm. I only like it for Geist of Saint Traft. Oh, I saw you talking about that one. Equipped creature yeah. gets plus two, plus two. Whenever equipped creature attacks the player with the most life or tied for most life, create a four for a white angel creature token with flying that's tapped and attacking that player. Ew, I don't like that. I love it. It's great. Oh, gross. It's amazing. Equip four. That's kind of expensive. It is. So I yeah. feel like it's fair. Yeah. It feels fair. Yeah, I agree with you. You know? Mm. Did that's you see been any... the only... White Did you see any white commanders that you liked? Mono white? Oh. Uh, I don't think I did, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I did either. Um, sorry, white has been kind of lame so far. Sorry, sorry, white. Yeah, sorry, white. Sorry, white. Okay, we're moving on. Let's go to black. This is the best one. Mm. What do you mean? Mm. Blue, blue has the best. Okay, let's look at this one. Court of Ambition. Two black, black. When Court of Ambition enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. <laughs> if you're the monarch, instead, <laughs> each opponent loses six life unless they discard two cards. How do you like and that? You, I'd play it in Kroxa. No, Zuby. You like the card, yeah, I can't play it. I'm not allowed to play it in my discard deck. That's correct. <gasps> <laughs> Are you the only one allowed to play it then? Yes, for sure. This and Veto? Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes, let's do it. Oh, that would be a good Look idea. Look at the flavor text on here. Watch your step. I Watch love it. Watch your step. I love yeah, it. I like it. It's so good. Um, also, the uh -huh. what, demonic uh, lore. I really love this. Like, hello, hello. Well, what's cool about that card? There's a commander that I saw that, because you know, obviously you wouldn't want to keep this enchantment, right? On on your uh, on your or on your uh, field. Yeah. No, there's a commander I saw that can make you give your permanents to other players. Yes, that's right. That was a Rakdos commander. Was it Rakdos? Yes. Yeah, I, I can't remember what the name was, but I saw it today somewhere. Yeah. No, you're totally right. It is, it's the Rakdos Commander. I remember that. But this one says, when Demonic Lore enters the battlefield, draw three cards. At the beginning of your end step, you lose two life for each card in your hand. So, yeah, that would be so great. Blim, that sounds right. It's like, um, I don't think it's a goblin, but something like that. It is a Rakdos Commander. We'll get to it. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, this would be great with Villas as well. I don't Ooh. know if you remember Villas, but you draw a card every time. No, Villas is when you pay life, though, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Um, Opposition Agent. So people were talking about this card. Oh, it's People when you are lose life. Super okay, mad about this card. They really were. Okay, so this is a creature. It's a three, two, four, two, and a black. It has flash. It's a rogue. Um, you're com you're oh sorry. You control your opponents while they're searching their libraries. That's kind of weird, right? While an opponent is searching their yeah. library, they exile each card they find. You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast them. So it's essentially a way to hose people that like to tutor up a bunch of cards. Yep. Um, like when they're playing Demonic Tutor, Vampire Tutor, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, and it's this would not be a very good card to play over webcam. Yeah, that would be difficult for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But I think, like, in person, it's a fine card and all that. Mm -hmm. And it it stops those people that just tutor up for every single answer just to win the game. Yeah. And I'm okay with it. Yeah. I, I think it's a fine card. I don't mind it either because it's kind of an answer to that that just isn't a counterspell, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, you're not, Efren. No, you're not. Nice try, Zuby. I'm playing it against you. Nope. Not unless we're face-to-face. -face. Oh, dang. I mean, 
Sendur the Dark Baron is not a new is not a new preview, but it's still great, right? Because it's a vampire. Hello. Whenever another creature dies, put two one one counters on Sanger. Whenever another player loses the game, you gain life equal to that player's life total as the turn began. That's so good. Oh god. I love it. Are you are you gonna put him in your vampire deck? Oh hell yes. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah, Wait, there's, so good. There's three different art or three there's different, three different versions, art. apparently. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Oh, have, have, have you seen that planeswalker, the Tevish Zizat or whatever? Doom of Fools? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 I did. Let's look at it. Um, yeah. This card's Pl ridiculous. Plus two, create two zero one black thrall creature tokens. Sure. Not bad. Not Plus bad. one, you may sacrifice another creature or a planeswalker. If you do, draw two cards, then draw another card of sacrifice permanent was a commander. Okay. Not um, bad. Sure. Minus ten, what? Gain control of all commanders. Put all commanders from the command zone onto the battlefield under your control. Like, excuse me, what? Right? <laughs> Right? Whoa. You're not going to take my commander? Like, whoa! That's another one that would not be super great. Well, I guess it'd be okay on webcam. Yeah, yeah, I think that one's a little bit better on webcam because you're not having to go through people's decks and all right, that. Right, right, right. Um, but, but holy that, that, moly, this, this guy's got to die. Yeah, that commander, as soon as he lives, it's got to go. Yes, for got sure. to go. Otherwise, like, you've just lost the game, right? If somebody minus 10s this guy, you've Pretty lost. Much. Yeah, like it's over. Dang. Yeah. Um, Vampiric Tutor, which everyone was very excited about this reprint. Oh my gosh, yes. This needed a reprint badly. Yeah, I like this art. Wow. Is this art new or is it is it a reprint? Um it it's is, not new. Yeah, it's not no, new. No, it's not new because it was a it was a new art in Eternal Masters, which came out a couple years ago. Gotcha. Um, but yeah. yeah, even like the Eternal Masters art of it is $111 for I it. I see that. Wow. Yeah, that's wild. Pretty good. I guess that explains Super why good. I don't have any of those. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about red. Red cards. What do you think about red? Have you seen anything good? Uh, What's the pirate? There's a pirates thing going on. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed a big heavy pirate theme mm -hmm. with it. Um trying to see oh what pirates are they? i don't know any of the names that's my problem yeah i and all that i think um i think i was more interested in more of the like multicolor stuff than most of the monocolor stuff as well yeah S same with me yeah um i i like the one uh pirate uh creature card port razor it's a oh. uh, it, it's three double red um, whenever this deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature you control. After this combat phase, there is an additional combat phase. Oh, wow. This can't attack a player. It has already attacked this turn. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I really like that card. Um, Look at Kedis. Okay. Kedis? Oh, oh, the little lizard. That's kind of cute. Kedis, whenever... Emberclaw, familiar. One in a red. Whenever a commander you control deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each other opponent. Oh. Oh, oh damn. Just imagine pumping that commander up or another commander up like crazy and like, I'm going to deal 21 damage to one opponent. Oh, no. Now I just killed everybody. Bro, I need to put this in my Corval deck. No. Yes. That would be fun, no. right? No. I don't you don't even need no. to attack with this one. You don't even need him no. to be your commander. Like No. Yes. That way uh. I can sacrifice a ton of stuff, make Corvold really, really big, and then just attack one person and everybody takes that damage. I'm I'm glad people can't see my face right now. <laughs> yes, oh, they God, no. yes they can. Yes they can. Yes they can. No. <laughs> no. I think it's a great uh, idea. I think it's a great no. idea. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like God. that. Um, I did pre-order a box of this, one box of Commander Legends. Yes, so, so did I. We'll see what I get. I'm very excited. 
We should do like a sealed or something with Commander Legends. Oh, we get some other people. Heck to the yes, we should. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be. Um, you're supposed to be able to play it sealed too, like. Yeah, draft and sealed. Yep, yep. That'll be exciting, for sure. Um, okay, let's look at green. All right, all right, green acidic slime reprint, good. Sure. Um, let's look at the Kodama. Oh yeah, this card looks ridiculous. Like green needs more craziness like this. Right? So it's a 6-6 six, six with reach. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't put onto the battlefield with this ability, you may put a permanent card with equal or lesser converted mana cost from your hand onto the battlefield. Like, okay... Seems legit. So that also counts lands as well. So you oh. put a land from your hand onto the battlefield, you just ramp up to another land. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm, the wheels are turning in my head real slowly, but I'm, wow. Yeah, this is, this is kind of ridiculous. It is. It's redunculous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I don't like it. It's going to be banned. Like, it's a good card. Like, it's a really good card, but yeah. holy crap. Like, green needs more craziness like that. Um, yeah. I, I like the card right next to it, Kamal's Will. Uh, it's the instant choose one. If you mm -hmm. control a commander as you cast a spell, you may choose both. Mm -hmm. Uh First one, until end of turn, any number of target lands you control become 1-1 one, one elemental creatures with Vigilance, Indestructible, and Haste. They're still lands. Ugh. And then the other one, choose target creature you don't control. Each creature you control deals damage equal to its power to that creature. Ooh, that's awesome. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's insane. Really good. I like it a lot. Yeah. That's going in my Ashaya deck. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, here's Blim. Let's look at Blim. Comedic genius. Blim is an Blim. imp. Okay, I like this card so much, and I think I want to have it's it. A cute, it's a cute little imp. Yeah. Um, it's a 4-3 with flying. Whenever Blim, comedic genius, deals combat damage to a player, that player gains control of target permanent you control. Then each player loses life and discards cards equal to the number of permanents they control but don't own. Okay, so that would work with the black enchantment? Yeah, because you would be able to give that demonic lore to someone else because it's a target permanent. Yeah, and so the and so that one does at so it it would do the two damage at the end of your end step or the or the person oh. who controls its end step. I think the person who controls it end step, but if they don't have a way to get rid of that enchantment... It would just um, stay on them. Yeah, because at the beginning of your end step, you lose two life for each card in your hand. So, so since they own that card, it'd be their end step. Oh, but wait a second, though. Blim makes you discard. Then each player loses life and discards cards equal number of permanents they control but don't own. So, yeah, so then they also have to discard a card as well okay so they would have to discard say one card because they have the yeah. one permanent mm -hmm. and then they lose two life for the rest of the cards in their hand yes okay hmm wow i think it's interesting it's an yeah. interesting card there yeah i like it i like that i like this weird racto stuff that's kind of like just yeah it's, it's interesting yeah mm -hmm. Um, would be a little bit hard to play on webcam, though. That's the only downside. Yeah, that's true. Not unless they have infinite tokens. It would be a little bit easier. That would make it easier, for sure. Um, my favorite card of the entire set so far is Lisa. Shroud Lisa. of Dusk. Lisa, okay. Yeah, Lisa. Lisa. Oh, is that how you say it? Lisa, not that's how Lisa I'm saying or something? It. That's how I'm oh. saying it, but like, I don't know. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I don't oh, know dang. what anybody else is going to say, but that's how I'm saying it. Oh, dang. We're just oh, keeping dang. it simple here. Lisa, okay? What's the problem? All right, all right, all right, all right. So, she's a 5-5 five, five angel. Rather than pay two for each previous time you've cast this spell from the command zone this game, 
pay to life that many times. And she has flying and lifelink. Whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. I love it. Oh my gosh. That's better than Campbell. Because Campbell is any non-creature spell. This is mm. any spell. Mm. Oh my god! Yeah, I love her so much. You're gonna build this as a commander, I'm aren't you? One hundred. I've already had got a list going. Like one hundred percent. Oh I'm my building. gosh! <laughs> I can show you. It's on Scryfall. Like I can pull it up right now. Oh dang! Yeah, I'm serious about it. I'm ser so serious. It's it's Lisa calling. All right, get with the program. <laughs> Liza, you thought it was Liza? Maybe. No, it. It's it's Lisa now. Oh, you know who we can ask? We can ask Gavin Ooh. on Sunday. Ooh, we could. Yeah. And then then when he's wrong and pronounces it like Liza or something, be like, no, it's Lisa. We're gonna be like, no, pretty sure no. it's Lisa. I'm the one who designed the card and all that. Like, no, sorry, no. Doesn't matter. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say it how we want to say it. For sure. Um. And Oh, God. What else is there? Let's that, talk about uh, the Salamander card. The Salamander. Which one's that? Um, oh, the Simic Gore, one? Gore Muldrak. I like this card because it's not every other Simic card that does the exact same thing. Draw cards and, you know, ramp up. It's actually something different, you know? Uh, it's It's definitely different. Yeah, you could say that. You could say that. It's yeah. different. You and permanents you control have protection from salamanders. At the beginning of your end step, each player who controls the fewest creatures creates a 4-3 blue salamander warrior creature token. I like it. It's it's very... um Weird? Very weird and unique. Yes. So, but like, you could easily be giving that... Giving your opponents these salamanders. Yep, but you have protection from them. That's true. It's true. As long as you have this guy out. You oh have yeah, that's right. From them. Yeah. I don't know. I just that's just so bizarre. Uh, uh, Love deck with uh, Love Dev with the puns. It'll be a newt deck type. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's very punny. Nice. Very nice, punny. Nice. Yeah. Um. I think it's weird, but you know, it's fine. Simic Simic is not my thing personally. It's not for me. What about this it, Crufix it, card here? Oh, Kaidili chosen a Crufix? I don't yeah. like it. You don't? Why? Don't, no. It, it's, I mean, it's a good card, but I've never been a fan of it in my Crufix deck. It just doesn't... Is this a reprint? Seem, yeah, it's a reprint. Oh, okay. It was originally printed in Commander 2015 or 2016. Oh, I see. Something like that. Okay, okay, you don't like it? Fine, that's fine. Just yeah. tell us how you it's really It's a good feel. card. It's a good card, but it's I'm not a fan of it. All right, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, of course it's fine. Sure. <laughs> um, Queen Marchesa got a reprint. Yes, that's very nice. nice. I think everybody's excited yeah. about that. Um, yep. what about the Jund Commander? Oh, that um. Your oh. your lock, the mana burner. Is that the right? Is that the right I, translation? I don't know if it is. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's the right name hmm. of the card. But I love how it's basically brought mana burn back. Now you never played back in the mana burn days. No, I didn't. So, so can you explain this to me because I don't really get it. So mana burn was essentially okay. You know how if you have unspent mana and you go to the next phase, it just goes away. Yeah, sure. So. Back in the day, what would happen is if that that unspent mana would deal one damage to you per amount of mana you have in your mana pool if you didn't spend it when the next phase goes. So let's say you had two unspent mana um, and you move on to like combat phase or something, you would take two damage at that point. Okay, but like, so it's only unspent mana if you, if you tap something for it and then don't yeah. use it. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you, like, tap your soul ring and only use one of those manas? Yeah. Yep. Okay, but how often are you really leaving unspent mana up? Well, nowadays, players don't have to worry about that. But back then, you definitely had to be more careful with being more accurate with your mana costs. Hmm. And making sure you didn't have any unspent mana. Because if you did, you'd start losing life. Yeah, and I mean, like... 
obviously this card has this activated ability that gives yeah. everybody this mana that really they could use, right? I guess if they have an instant or something yeah. in those yeah, colors. Yeah, they could. They could. And then otherwise they're just going to take three damage or, or lose three life, I should say. Oh. And so that would happen to you too, like the controller of this card. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Because it's whenever a player, not just whenever your opponents. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you're, you would probably just plan to have something to use that mana on. Hopefully. You know, that, at least Otherwise, that's the plan. Otherwise, why would you do it? Yeah. And, or, or if you had ways to easily gain life, too, it were, wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. It would negate it. Mm -hmm. So. Hmm. Interesting. It's weird, but I kind of like it. Yeah. Whatever. It's it's it it it's that's this is the kind of commander that makes me curious and want to try to build a deck around it to see how I mm -hmm. could, you know, try to maybe win with it, you know, because mm -hmm. it's interesting enough to where it's not just okay, build build a deck, get creatures out, swing and win. Yeah. Right. You know? Exactly. Yeah, it's different, but that's that's fun. You know, that's that would be yeah. part of the fun of building a deck around it. What, what do you think of the tree folk one? I the, really love it, actually. I love the art of it. I love the art. I totally uh, agree. That looks amazing. <laughs> the art is so cool. But I like everything about this card. So it's whenever Colfiner, Colfiner, Colfinor, sure. the last, you know, whatever, uh, or another creature you control dies, return up to one other target creature card with lesser toughness from your graveyard to your hand. I like that being able to you know, keep bringing stuff back. Yeah. And Especially if, like, some sack outlets. Yeah, exactly. And all that. Exactly. Um, return one other target creature with lesser toughness. So mm, lesser, lesser toughness than whatever died? Yeah. Right? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I like that. That seems fun. Did you just say Siege Rhino? Yeah, Siege Rhino. Siege Rhino would go good in this deck. Oh. What, is, what does that do? Siege Rhino. It's a 4-5 Rhino that costs 4 mana. And whenever it enters the battlefield, uh, everyone loses 3 life and you gain 3 life. Oh. Oh, yeah. so you could keep bringing it back. Yeah. Ooh. Super good. Nice. Um, Siege Rhino is everyone. Yeah, each opponent loses 3 life and you gain 3 life. Yeah. Gross. Because I totally know how to play. Yeah, it, it Siege Rhino was think of Siege Rhino as like the Euro back in the day. Ugh, no. Like, I mean it, it was pretty bad, but it was still very beatable. Not like Euro was a pain yeah. in the ass. Or or, or, or or Omnath. Think of it it was like Omnath back in the day. Yeah, except the difference is Omnath is not beatable. You can't beat Omnath. Trust me, I tried. I tried really hard. <laughs> I know. I tried my stupid standard tournament. Yeah. So there's another reprint that people are really happy about. It's the Artifact Scroll Rack. That's okay. A, that everybody is really excited about that reprint. I've never seen this before. Scroll Rack. Cost two. You pay one and tap it. Exile any number of cards from your hand face down. Put that many cards from the top of your library into your hand. Then look at the exiled cards and put them on top of your library in any order. Oh, so you just get new cards? Yep. That's and if you actually got a way to like untap amazing. Your, yeah, if you got a way to untap the, the artifact, you can just keep doing it too. Oh, wow. To like find whatever cards you need or something. Huh. Super good. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Oh, they did reprint Scroll Rack on the list, the list cards that you found in uh, yes, with the set that. boosters. But the list is like 5 million cards, though. Yeah, there were so many. The list. Yeah. The list. And then people were going kind of ape shit for the Staff of Domination, too. Arcane Signet like, is... Arcane Signet got moved to Uncommon? Oh wow, it did. But but it's always been uncommon. Has it? Yeah. Oh. Or has it? Or no 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 wasn't it um common? I thought before? it was common. 
Hey, AT Flowery, thank you for the raid. Hey, Andy. What's hey, up? Hey, Andy. Hey, Jim. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for the raid. Let me change my screen really quick. Yeah, so they can see our costumes. Oh, my my, my hair's all messed up. Okay, oh, hold my on. My all messed up, too. Hold on, y'all. We've, we've been off camera. Hey, yeah. hey, everybody. Hold on. We have to fix our costumes really quick. We're totally professional. Yes, totally professional here. Hey. Ah. hey everyone thank you so much for the raid andy we oh, thank are you just for the raid. wow yeah the, wow thank <laughs> you so much we're just here talking about some um commander legends and this is our special halloween costume episode of magic for normies so welcome everyone hey everybody hey. And we're also working on our uh extra life uh deal too where if we get 250 dollars by the end of the stream, mm -hmm. Pixie's cat gets into a. Uh, we will dress Daisy one up of the in, costumes. in a Halloween costume of Chat's choice. Yes. So yes, if we meet our if we meet our goal during this stream tonight, that will happen. So yeah, it's very exciting. Hopefully it does. We're at a hundred dollars so far. We've seen a hundred and fifty dollars more for a really good cause. Yes. Plus a foil thought sees apparently what JD's saying. I don't know, did he put that on Twitter or something? I haven't looked at Twitter. Um, I think that is a part of my giveaway. If you donate uh, oh, okay. $10 okay. to my Extra Life, you are entered into a giveaway. That will be open until November 7th. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that is awesome. the Foil Thought Seas and a bundle of um, gaming supplies from Inked Gaming and a Secret Lair Women's Day. Ooh. So donate $10 and you're entered into that giveaway. Sweet. Yes. That's awesome. So, wow, my wig really is like falling back on my head. Did we have any other cards that you wanted to talk about? I mean, they have some of the land cards, but... Wow. Eh, I mean, trying to think if there's anything else like really worth talking about. I mean, we're, we're still in the middle of preview season two. There's still we are. more. We're only about halfway through. Yeah. And, and even the, all the cards that have come out now, it's, I tried to look through most of them today and to get prepped for the show. And it's like, I still don't know them all. I still yeah, haven't. Yeah. Yeah. There there's has been so much. so much. There really has been so much come out. And yeah, yeah it, it's been kind of hard to keep up with, but it's very exciting. I'm super, super excited about this set. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I can't wait to get my box and uh, draft this or play sealed on stream and all that. I'm more yeah. excited about just building the deck than getting to play it. I love yeah. the building. Yeah, that's fun for sure. Um, I'm working on updating... Right now, I'm working on updating my rat stack. Let me just bring us back on since we're just chit-chatting here. Um, yeah, I've got some cards coming in from Cardsphere. I'm um, working on updating my Ooh. rat stack. And honestly, I should probably just go ahead and start getting stuff from my new Lisa deck. I'm just so excited to play that card. I'm looking forward to it so much. It's my favorite. What, what's your favorite so far, Zuby? What's my favorite what? Command Commander Legends. Oh, oh, card. Um if I had to be honest, like god, I don't even know if I have one yet. Um Like Mnemonic Deluge probably Gross. would be my favorite so far. Zoomie. I know. I know I'm I'm the worst. I know. Why? Because it's so amazing. I want to be able to cast Dig Through Time three times. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Did we talk about Rograk? Ro Rograk? No, we didn't. What card is that? Oh, that's that? one of the red ones, I think. Can we talk about it right now? Oh, yeah. That's that zero cost commander. Oh, the Cobalt Warrior. Yeah. He's zero cost. He's a zero one. Has first strike, menace, trample, and partner. That'd be a cool one to try to get that one to work. Like that just really pump so it up and all funny. that. Yeah. Like, what do you do? What do you do? Like you uh, pump it up a bunch, I guess. You put counters on it. Counters or enchantments or artifacts or something. Yeah. And then 
and plus, you know, every time it dies, you're only going to have to pay the commander tax for it. Right. Nothing else. And if you so. have that, if, if you have that, um, like, oh, why? Lizard. Why is it even, like, considered red if it's not any color? What do you mean? I mean, like, the border of this card is red. Yeah. Why isn't it, like, colorless? Oh, you mean the mana cost? Yeah. I don't know. That's just how they designed it. That'd be a good question for Gavin on Sunday. But you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, it doesn't cost a mountain, so why does it have a I red border? Probably because it makes more sense since kobolds are red in, like, Magic's past and all that. Um, and if it was colorless, you'd be really restricted on the cards you could put in the commander deck. The red dot to the left of legendary creature assigns color identity? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I didn't know that. I mean, Efren's out here like it's right there. As if I know that. It, I didn't freaking know that either. I just thought that red dot was there for show. Or I, know, I, I know. I I was like, that's weird. I've never seen that before, and yeah. I don't like it. I guess this is a misprint. <laughs> I didn't know what that red dot was. I I'm didn't like, okay. either. I didn't either. <laughs> We're so good at this game. Listen, this show is called Magic for Normies for a reason, okay? Yeah. We're not very good at this game. We don't know what we're doing or what we're talking about. Ever. Yeah, but that looks, that's fun, though. That card looks fun. Yeah. And weird. That looks like another fun kind of commander. That and the lizard, too. What's the lizard? What's the lizard? The, Wait. The, 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 the one that does, uh, the one you were talking about putting in Korvald, the one that oh, deals, yeah. your commander deals damage to everyone. Kedis, yeah. Kedis, yeah, Kedis, Kedis. The lizard and the kobold. That that seems like a pretty fun combination. Have yeah, them both. for sure. Um, you should mention to the Raiders that we'll be playing with Gavin. Hey, we are playing. We're playing EDH with Gavin right here on Sunday night. Woohoo, Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern? Oh, man. Or was it 7 p.m. Central? It's 7 Central. It is 7 Central. Okay, 7 Central. Okay, I'll, that's good for me to know because I need to know that. Oh shit! Worm hey, Worm Coil Engine, Coil Engine, he donated a hundred dollars. Thank Holy you so crap. much for the donation. Wow. Oh what? my god. Coil. Thank you Coil. so much. Wow, Coil. Wow, that's that amazing. Is amazing. Thank you. We we are so we are getting so close to our goal. Thank you so much for the donation. That is so awesome. We're fifty dollars away now from um. Uh, from the Daisy costume thing. We are. That we is are. so cool. I'm that, desperately that's... trying to fix my wig here. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I need to fix fix my hair too. Um, I'm I'm a witch, Soren. If anyone is wondering. <gasps> oh, guess what? Oh, what? I did not notice, but she has joined us. She oh, has graced us snap. with her presence. Oh, Daisy of the Great uh, Pixies, you have. <gasps> She's awake. Hey. Okay, she's right here. She's right here, okay? Yes. So she's ready to get her costume on. And if anyone's wondering, I am the D&D &D Dungeon Master from the old D&D &D cartoon. Yep. It's true. I've got my robes and everything. Here you go, Zuby. It's your time to shine. So on flavor, yes. <laughs> Tell us a story, Zuby. You're walking down in a dungeon oh. in the deeps of the cravenous of Cthulhu's something. Cravenous. I don't fucking know. Roll initiative, <laughs> motherfuckers! There's rats coming after you. Oh You're all God. gonna die. <laughs> Everybody, roll in chat. Give us a roll. Everybody, roll yeah, a d20. Give D20. us a roll. Oh man. Roll. I got an 18. Boom. Y'all dead. How do you do it? How do you roll in chat? Uh, you do the exclamation point roll, then space D20 or, or D6 or something. What does Cravenous mean? That's a great question. I don't know. You think I, do you think I know what I say? No. I don't know. That's like asking me, what, what were we just talking about five minutes ago? I, I don't know. Command, Commander <laughs> Legends, I What's think. What's that? <laughs> it's a new set. It's a new set. What's magic? I don't I know. know. This. I know, right? What is it? 
Um, so actually, that is a great segue into Ooh. our next, our next top- topic. Ooh, Zuby, yes. tell us a story. So, so since this is our Halloween episode, mm-hmm. we are going to tell scary, spooky Halloween stories. Um, these don't really have anything to do with Magic the Gathering. At least I don't think they do. But no, it's no. close to Halloween, so we're doing this anyways. Spooky. Hold on. I'm going to turn my spooky music back on. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I don't get to hear the music. Um. <laughs> okay. It's It should be there. Okay. It's just some creepy so, background music. Okay, Zuby, tell us your story. All right. So these stories are actually events that happened in my childhood. Oh. And and these are stories that, you know, we 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 were going back and forth on what we're going to be talking about for tonight and um we decided, you know, it could be a good time for some ghost stories mm-hmm. as well. So mm-hmm. back when I was a kid, um we used to hang out in these woods and um it was a the the woods they're just not your normal woods. There it was it was a really large sinkhole type area. And it was like wood surrounding the sinkhole and all that stuff. And it was a place like all the neighborhood kids like to go and play. And so, and this was back in the day where, you know, it's summertime and you'd wake up in the morning and then leave your house the entire day and never come back home until nighttime and all that. Yes. Yes. Like how you don't let kids do that nowadays. So no, no, so I decided to go off that day, go into these woods. Uh, by and, yourself? Um, yeah, by myself. Okay. And, um, and so at the time, I used to have, um, do you remember the talk boy from Home Alone? Walkman? A Walkman? No, 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 no. A talk boy. No. Okay, do you remember, did you ever see Home Alone 2? Yes. All right, you know how he has that little tape recorder? Yes, yes. So th- th- they made that into a toy. Um, okay. And I used to drive around with it. Like, this is where I'd like to pretend I had my own radio show and all that stuff. And... That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So, okay. So I, I went, and, I remember going into the woods and just sort of sitting down, just sort of, you know, watching, you know, just nature and all that stuff sitting there. And, and I'd every so often record the nature sounds and all that. And, okay. And sometimes I'd talk, you know, talk about whatever and then I'd go back and listen to the nature sound so this one time I'm just recording you know recording just basically the nature sounds you know the wind the leaves moving and all that stuff and I go back and play the tape and I hear uh-uh. what sounds like footsteps coming up right behind me and of course what do I do as I turn back I turn back and look no one's behind me You know, no animals, nothing, because I was thinking, oh, you know, it's just a squirrel or, you know, a deer or something like that, you know, Uh or a raccoon. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, a little weird. So then I record it again, and wait, wait, about 15, 20 seconds, and I hear the footsteps getting closer and closer as they go. And I just hear crunch, 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 and it's getting closer, and I'm turning back, freaking out. There's no one behind me. No. And just one more time I do it and it sounds like the footsteps are right behind me at this point. And I turn around and I just start running back home and just scared the hell out of me. And this was like, it was almost evening time too. Like, you know, that time mm-hmm. where it's getting to be about evening and all that. And Dusk. I'm thinking like, what the hell was that? Like, I have no idea what it was. Like, it could have been, you know, the tape recorder right. picking up something. Yeah. but. It, like, like I said, I could have swore it sounded like footsteps in the recording, like coming right behind me and n- nothing. There was no animals that I could see or anything like that. I hate that. I hate yeah. that. That's creepy. Did you say you had two stories? I do have another one. Do you want to tell yours or do you want me to go tell mine? Tell my next one. Um, my next one's probably a little bit scarier. A scarier? <laughs> yes. Efren says it was the Blair Witch. It wasn't. It was something even dark, more darker and sinister. So I can't, I don't really have a scary story that personally happened to me. I can't think of any. It was Bigfoot. Okay. It was, 
Oh, Y'all, snap. I want to believe the, in the Bigfoot. Florida Bigfoot. I want to believe right? in Bigfoot so bad. I really want to, like, I watch documentaries because I want to, like, have hope that Bigfoot is real. But then I watch them and I'm like, there's no way this is real. These people are crazy. Right? They're dumb and on meth. It's yeah. sad. I really want to believe it. I do. I know. Like, I want Bigfoot to be real, aliens and UFOs to be all real and all that. All of it. Um... Okay, so my, I don't have, I, I can't really think of a scary story that's happened to me. I, I don't, I haven't had anything like creepy happen to me like that. Um, but Mr. Kitten used to work in um, a really, like, 120 year old building that had been turned into office spaces, but it was an old convent. So okay. it was a, there was like a sanctuary and all of these rooms it was like what like five or six stories five stories tall four stories tall and nuns lived there and all these little rooms are where the nuns lived they lived there and they died there apparently they died there they were got old and they just died there that's creepy (laughs) Okay, he said the fourth floor of the of the convent was the infirmary, and so the elevators were like really big, so you could like roll a like a hospital bed into them. So it was like legitimately a place where like old nuns went to die. Yeah. Um. And but but they had turned it into an office space, so they like rented out each little room. It was like a little office space, and people rented them out, whatever. So he was like um, the building manager. And he, like, fixed people's broken lights and stuff like that. So, um, people would come and tell him really spooky stories about stuff that would happen, like, when they worked late or whatever. Like, um, the elevator would just, like, take people to the wrong floor sometimes. It would just, like, go (laughs) weird places. Um, one time there was, like people saw like footprints on the ceiling of the sanctuary and it was like a sanctuary so the ceilings were like 20 feet tall so there's no way like people mm-hmm. couldn't reach that and there were like you They'd could have like, to really try to do it right you could like visibly see footprints like on the ceiling and they'd have to get a really high ladder in order to do that and like lay on your back and put your feet on the ceiling on the top of a ladder, or or just take shoes and you know. No, they were, they were bare footprints. Oh, though. oh, bare foot. Oh, okay. Like nun size. Footprints. And he says they were tiny too. I'm getting really oh, scared. That's right now. whoa. That's I, th- I thought you were talking about like footprints, tall. like like shoe footprints or something. No, like but it's like feet. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. That's that's pretty weird. Yeah, and and people would like work late sometimes, and I think one time somebody said like this radio kept turning on and they would like go to the other room and turn it off and then go back and then the radio would just like blare out again and they would just <laughs> go turn it off again. And one time there was like a woman there working late with her dog and her dog just went like wild. It just like went nuts. And she, like, didn't know why, and she couldn't get it calmed down. And That's weird. Yeah, just all these spooky things happened, and it was a convent, and so it was, like, just creepy. Just all of it was creepy. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't experience any of those things, because that would that would be I, too much for me. I would have noped out of that place. Be yeah, like, yeah. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. like, straight up, I, bye. I'm out. I'm assuming Mr. Kitten didn't, how long did Mr. Kitten work there for? He worked there for a long time, actually. Like, I don't know, 10 oh, years. He didn't oh. experience any of the scary things, though. But, like, he wasn't at, he wasn't there, like, after dark or during these, oh. like, creepy times. Yeah, it was, he worked there during the day. Yeah. It was, it was people who would just, like, stay in their office and work late at night and be, like, the only one left there and stuff like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's scary. Very creepy. Okay, what's your other story? All right, I got another one, and this one I probably would say is scarier. This happened to me as a kid again. Okay. So this actually happened uh, shortly after we came back from Las Vegas, and I remember during that time we had just gotten a pool in our backyard. Um, Okay. And so our neighborhood, uh, my backyard, um, you know, it's just not a very big backyard, but behind it was an empty lot. Um, that used to be sort of like little woods we used to be able to play in. Okay. Um, but then 
what at one point I don't know if it was the county came down and started clearing out the woods, like start chopping down the trees, but then they never came back years later and just really tall grass started rising up in there. Okay. And all, so it was like, there, so there's like our pool and then our backyard and then the really, the, the empty lot that had like super tall grass. And okay. so this was during summertime and we had just gotten this pool and I was swimming at night, probably like nine, 10 o'clock at night and all that. And okay. It, you know, it's summer. It's like sure. I, I'm I'm 12 or 13. Like, what what else am I gonna do? Yeah, I you gotcha. Know? Yeah. So, um, my mom and sister were asleep. This is after my parents' divorce, so it was just us three in the house. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm I'm you know I, I'm swimming at night. We have a pool light and all that, and I'm getting out of the pool and starting to dry off, <laughs> and um, and I'm just sort of sitting there like facing this empty lot just it's pure blackness the only light that i see is just the light coming from the pool mm -hmm. and the light coming from my house no mm -hmm. other lights or anything mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden i see in the tall grass a red light just appear in in the tall grass and i'm it didn't look like a flashlight it was like a ball of red light or something like a brake light no 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 not a brake light it was just because you you would have been able to hear a car come in that lot okay. and all that. Mm -hmm. it, I heard nothing. It was just all of a sudden, like, a ball of red light just appeared in the grass. Mm -hmm. But it seemed a little bit far away. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. Yeah. I'm going to get up and go back inside and forget all about this happened. And then, um, but the door to get inside my house was locked. I couldn't get inside. <laughs> oh, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm... I'm deadly serious no. i could not get inside and so i'm trying to open the door and then i turn around and look the red light disappeared and i'm like okay this is weird all right i'm, I'm let me you know just knock on the door try to yeah. try to get in somebody let um, me in like right now let, somebody let me in and then i turn around again and the red light appeared again but it's closer it's getting closer <gasps> to my backyard and i'm Stop. all like Stop. i'm freaking the fuck out and i'm like banging on the door i'm crying at this point too because i'm like i don't know what the fuck it is <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't know if it's aliens or like someone right? trying to kidnap me or right? something. I'm banging and screaming. And of yeah. course, what happens, you know, my mom comes and, she's and the like, red what? light disappears. And she didn't see anything. Like, and I'm like crying. She's all like, what happened? And I'm telling her, like, I'm explaining what happened and what I sh she saw. And, you know, mm -hmm. my mom, you know, she's like, okay, okay. Probably just thinking, what the Yeah, fuck, like, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. It oh, just, dang. oh my God. I... I I still think of that. Like it, it scared the shit out of me. Oh, uh, I wonder what it was, right? Because it was don't... just a reflection or something. I I don't know. I mean, like, could I have been imagining it? Yeah, uh, yeah. obviously. It's, yeah, it, it's just weird. Like the red light just all of a sudden like appeared, and and it's not like it was a ball of light that I could see above the grass. It was in the grass, like just mm -hmm. glowing out of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. But it was just. Yeah, Ooh. I've got more scary stories. But if we do a Halloween episode next year, you gotta save. You gotta save. I gotta along. save him. Yeah, he was on drugs at the time, by the way. Nope, <laughs> never ever. He was ever. twelve. Okay, I was like twelve or thirteen. Nope. Let's hope he wasn't on drugs at that point. No, not at all. Wow. No, not not until I was like thirty-two or thirty-three when <laughs> I first experimented. <laughs> Oh. And from then on, it's just... <laughs> it's been down been constant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, How my gosh. big was the ball of light? I'd probably say it was, like, maybe about that, like, maybe, like, a little bit bigger than, like, a softball or something. I'd have to guess. Spooky. I mean, at least from what I can remember, right? I mean, yeah. this happened over 20 years ago, so it's... At least from what I could rem from what my memory can remember, it was, like, a... Big ball of light. So your scary story was you saw a firefly for the first time and freaked out. Efren, no. We don't have fireflies in Florida, thank you very much, okay? And they don't have red light either, And they so. don't have red light, okay? Afro. I got more stories, but that that's, we got to save them for another time. Yeah, we do. Another time. We do. That's great. Those were spooky, for sure. Um, Let's talk about, so we both picked out our three scariest Magic the Gathering arts that yes. we thought were super spooky. All um, right, so and I saved them on my computer. Okay, yeah, Zuby is going Let to. Let me. I'm gonna share my screen in a second here. 
Um, they're only red when they're angry. No, fireflies are never shut, red. Shut up, Efren. <laughs> it was Florida. Maybe it was a panther. Ooh. Um, e evil red oh. eyes. Sure. Fairy card. So let's do your cards first, Pixie. Let's do it. Sure. Uh, all right. So we're going to see peer into the abyss there three times. That <laughs> is definitely some spooky art. That right? is spooky art. Yeah. It was Florida. It might have been a panther. It might have been a panther. Oh, that's weird. All right. That all right, would so, actually be scary, right? So you should be able to see my screen. Oh, hold um, on. I think I have to do something on my end. I don't know what it, I, if there's. I got it. I'm getting so much better at this. Sweet. I am so good. So this is your first card. This is. This is my first card. Okay, so my three spooky art card arts. Flesh former. Okay, first of all, like, can we talk about the name of it? That's disgusting. That is so looking at I Like yeah, this, zoom in on what's yeah, happening art, here. That art is pretty crazy. Like is the, is like the flesh <laughs> being sucked into something? I don't understand what's happening. And her other hand is like in a bowl of blood with a little like imp holding it up. What's scary about a woman packing up a tent? <laughs> Data storm. Ew, I'm eating string cheese and now I can't. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh God, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I'm um, trying to understand what she's doing, but like, do I want to? I don't think you want to know. No. Because it, it looks like the skin's being sucked up into something then is that like a bowl of blood or something on the yeah. other side? Yeah. Yep. You see, there's like an oh. eyeball there. Like. Yeah. Oh, right ugh. there. Yeah. It's so God. gross. This is disgusting. Yeah. That's just gross. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. I got. I, oh. oh you, this you, one. I don't even know if I can look at this one. This is like really messed up art it's but it's not so much the mouth it's the eyes it's are... so gross like why are they so closed it, it, it's it's oh, disgusting God. it's disgusting and it, and okay so you just think about like sensory deprivation okay so shouldn't the nose be closed too right yeah how do you sew that it's i hate it I hate it. Oh God! Who oh. Drew, who 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 made that art? I'm sorry. Stephen Belladin. You're a All right, Stephen sick. Belladin. You're a sick person, Stephen. Oh my gosh! And it's like, can you imagine if they were alive during this? Like, especially get their eyes sewn. Oh God! Ah, I can't. Oh God! I guess uh. I assumed they were still alive. Like that wouldn't kill you. It'd be extremely fucking painful. Yeah, but it wouldn't kill you. I don't think. What? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, we're getting maybe, gruesome. Maybe, we're getting real gruesome. Maybe that's why they didn't sew the nose shut, because they want them to, like, still breathe and Ugh. feel the pain. Oh, oh God. All uh -huh. right. And, yep. and your last one. My last one. Treacherous urge. Okay, yo, what is happening here? Oh, my. I didn't. I never. I didn't really look at this art. Oh my, what the hell? Okay, this is like a puppet, and you see that it's being held up by barbed wire. And it's sawing itself, itself in, half? in half. Yes. What the hell? Who did this one? Oh my god, they're fucked up. Steven! Steven again! Bro, what's up? Are you okay? Okay, this one's Dave Kendall. I was just Kendall. seeing the art for yeah, Dave Kendall for the first one, but yeah, let's go back to the puppet here. That's just. It's gross. It's weird. It, it, it's freaky. It, it's, it's, I wouldn't call this one gross. It's just more fucking insane. Yeah, freaky. right, right, right. This is just, what the hell? Yeah, I hate <laughs> it. It's so creepy. Yeah, I 100% <gasps> agree. Hey, Baltian, thank you for the donation. Oh, now the text is working. It's there thank now. Thank you, Baltian. Thank you, Baltian. Thank you, Baltan. You're the best, man. Yes, we are so very close. Awesome. Yes, yeah, right, so, so those, those are, are your three scary. Yeah, those cards. are my three creepy ones. Okay, what about you? All right, so let me get my first one. 
So this is a card that actually, um, ne Necrite, mm -hmm. this is a card that used to scare me as a kid. Holy moly, what is happening? It's like, it, it used to freak me out as a kid because the whatever this is, like licking his knife and there's blood coming off the knife and the tongue looks all weird, the mouth looks all weird and just the dead looking eyes and, the, <gasps> and like the centipede on his face that's it's being like swirled. Licking this knife and cutting its own tongue. Yeah, I'm. It's. I'm very bizarre art. <laughs> Just licking who, the who extra did... jelly off the butter knife. <laughs> 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 no, but probably just made a sandwich. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Ron Spencer. Yeah, yeah. It, hey, it could be jelly. It could be strawberry jelly. Oh, gross. Oh, God. Yeah. It's, it's cutting its hand, too. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Th this, like I said, this art used to just freak me out as a kid. Yeah, it's like pretty pulling gross. this card. Yeah, I hate it. All right. So the next one. So this is a card I just found while doing the. Uh, looking for cards for the cube. Yeah, this and, has been this has been reprinted recently. Yeah. Yeah, so I put this in the peasant cube and just the look of this creature is a thing of nightmares. It's pretty gross. What's happening here? It's like it's got like two faces like puking out green stuff. Ooh. Um it's belly, I guess, is puking out green stuff with other like little orifices. It's got too Puk many limbs. Yeah. This is the sort of thing you'd see in a nightmare, your own nightmare. Right? Zombie that, horror is like super accurate description yeah, for this thing. It's, this is just a bizarre, and it's by Pete Venters. Damn it, Pete, Ron, and Steve, and the other guy. Ooh. Yeah, that one's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. Yeah, it's it, this is this is the kind of thing that'd give me nightmares. And then the last one mm -hmm. is another art that used to freak me out as a kid. Is carrion beetles. Just look at Ew. all the bugs and <gasps> pulling the eyeball out of the guy's oh, socket. Gross, it's on his face. Yeah. No, the, I the, hate this it. Whole, it, it. It's all the bugs, and the worms coming out of the eye socket, the bug holding up the eyeball, oh, and just what more and more do? bugs coming. Like, th this is a thing of nightmares as well, too. Who drew that one? Ron Spencer. Damn it, Ron, Ron Spencer. You're just as bad as Steven. Oh, Ron. Oh, so the two uh. cards that scarred me as a kid were both by Ron Spencer. Damn it, Ron. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. This is why you saw that red light, Zuby. Probably. Cards right? like Damn this. It, Ron. Like, look at the bug's eye. It, it, no, eye. it was probably this was coming after you me. You thought that was coming after you for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely what you thought. Oh my gosh. So yeah, those are our scary Halloween card picks. Ugh. Classic Ronnie. Right? All right, how do I stop? Okay. Stop sharing my screen. There we go. Hello, hello. We have hello. finally figured out how Discord works now. Right? We're, we're so like, smart. We're like normie pros at this shit. So normie pros. Did we meet our goal? Did we? Got Did we? Yeah, it says we've oh, raised we $250! Who, who, um, who did the last $10? Mo it says most recent donation, Data Storm. D Data Storm, yay! Data Storm, yay! Awesome! Yay! Okay, we have, um, we are gonna play. You know what? I think this is just covered, really. What do you mean? I think that the words are there. It's just covered by the extra life overlay. Oh, that makes sense. That would make sense. Because yeah. I'm not professional and I don't know what's up. Yeah, it's too far down. You know I what? Don't know what I'm, I'm doing. just doing the best I can. Okay, I'm just doing hey, the best we're, we're, I can. We got this. All right, we're doing this live. Yo! Right? Thank you all so much. We better go. You all are awesome. Once again. You all come through for us, our little community. You all are the best. Yes, we love you. So we have one more. We have one more little game we're gonna play, and, and it's a new game. And then we will get our costume on. On yes. Daisy. So our new game that we're doing this is actually kind of inspired by the Magic Podcast, the Mana Pool. 
Um, really good podcast that's been around for a long time. Um, and it is, we're doing MTG Mad Libs. But the yes. slight difference is, is I'm taking existing cards and I'm going to have Pixie or the chat just give me a word or something. And we're going to we're going to basically create new cards with different words for the Mad Libs. Yes. So okay. I'm going to name off. Um, hold on. I'm moving my mic here a little bit just so I have some more typing room. Oh, um, let me get my little notepad up. Oh, dang. Yes, we got another donation. We're at 260 now. Oh, dang. All oh, dang. right. We're at $270 total for Cardsphere, the Cardsphere team. Woo! And our goal for Extra Life is 1000 Yes. Someone want to donate $700 right now? <laughs> Boom. Well, we still have another <laughs> week. Yeah, so... yeah, we do. We do. Um, we, we are still going to continue raising money, but thank you all so much. Oh, thank you. You're all awesome. Yeah, the best. All right, so we ready for some Mad Libs here? We're ready. Hold on, let me get my screen all set up and stuff. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, come on. I still need to be able to see Pixie and I need to be able to see the chat. Do okay. I need to share my screen for you? No, 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 no. I don't want to share my screen here. Um, I'm just, we're going to do the first card. Um, and then I'll just name off what it'll do. Um, and then what I'm going to do tomorrow is all the choices we have. Um, I'm going to be making the cards with our new choices. Okay. And all that. All though. All that. Okay. Um, all right. So I guess the first one I'll do is for Pixie. Um, name the worst city you ever visited. Like real life in real life. Yeah, real life. Yeah. Uh, I hope we don't make anybody mad. But my least favorite city to visit was New York City. New York City. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I did not enjoy it. All right, I need either Pixie or the chat to give me an action verb. <gasps> oh, let's let chat do it. An action verb. Yes. Action. Okay, chat, the first person to write an action verb in, in the chat will be what we yes. use. Ooh, hydrate. Squeezed. All right, Efren got squeezed. <clears throat> I okay. almost choked. I almost... <laughs> <coughs> okay. Um, Pixie. <clears throat> yep. Name a creature type that I would play. Rogue. Rogue. Okay. <coughs> All right. Y'all choked me. <laughs> Chat. Name a weapon. Any kind of weapon. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Banzubi. Ooh, Banzubi. You okay. would play rogues, right, Zubi? Yeah. Flail. All right. Flail is the first one. Oh wow. All right. Um. A rusty spoon. Chat, give me a card type. <gasps> card type. Like, like instant sorcery, enchantment, artifact, something like that. Enchantment. enchantment. Okay. Enchantment. All right, that's the first one. All right. Uh, chat, give me another <laughs> okay. action verb. Do it. Do it, chat. Give me another action verb. Give us an action. Kicked. Kicked. Okay. Honked. Oh my gosh. I love it. I almost kind of want to go with honk. And well, no, we're going to do the first one. It's fine. Yeah. All right, Pixie. Yes. Uh, the next two are going to... Actually, there's going to be a few that are for you. All right. <gasps> Name the weirdest food you've ever eaten. The weirdest food I've ever eaten. <clears throat> I am real picky, so my weirdest food is probably not super weird, but, like, maybe rabbit? Rabbit? Okay. Sorry, I am not a vegetarian. Boogers say boogers! <laughs> Gross, Efren! <laughs> alright, alright. Next. Uh, and this one's for Pixie. Uh, name something found in your closet. Um. Maybe something weird or something. 
gloves. Gloves, okay. Yeah, like I have my like winter scarves and gloves in there. Is that weird enough? Okay, right. okay, okay. All right. Uh, all right, chat, give me a room, like a, a room that you'd find in a house, like, you know, a kitchen, garage, something like that. Ooh. Thermal underwear. <laughs> I would say a bathroom. Lit living room, mud room. <laughs> a parlor. Wow, Andy's fancy. All right, and got two more to go for this first card. Um, pick C, this one's for you. What's the best city you ever visited? Chicago. Chicago. I do love Chicago. I love Chicago. All right, and chat, give me a verb. Just a, a verb. Do it. Give him a verb. Yeah, Colin, I love me some Chicago. Boot. Honky? What? Okay. Honky. Okay. Okay. So I think, um, all right. So we're good. All right. So the card is, I based the card off of, um, Soren Lord of Innistrad. Oh! So, <laughs> uh -uh. so now the card reads Soren Lord of New York City. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> His plus one is squeeze a one one rogue creature token with lifelink. <laughs> squeeze. His negative two, you get a flail with enchantments you control get plus one plus oh. <laughs> what? Who said enchantments? It's awful. <laughs> Shoot. Um, um it's his negative six. Kick up to three target rabbits and or gloves. <laughs> Found, uh, return each card put into your living room this way. Back to Chicago under your boop. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my I gosh. I love oh, it. I love, I I love, love it. it. That was great. Yes. Yes. That's fun. Okay, I, we've got two other cards here. Okay. Um, okay, now that we sort of, like, get it, I feel like we can yeah. do things that work, too. Okay, so first one will be, and, and I'm going to I'm gonna take the Soren card and then just sort of replace the words over it, and I'll work on that tomorrow. I love just it. So, just so people can see in Discord That's, and on Twitter. Yes, that'll be great. <laughs> Soren, Lord of New York. New push, new push method. <laughs> All right, so I need from chat an adjective. An adjective. Who, what, when, where, why, or how often. Yes, Those are adjectives. Sexy. Okay, sexy was the first one. Fucking Efren. <laughs> Efren! Oh, God. Pixie, your favorite card type. Or your favorite creature type, I mean. Vampire. You know it. I mean, you know it. All right. Yeah, I don't think sexy was technically an adjective. Um, uh, chat, name a, your favorite MTG keyword, like kicked, lifelink, hexproof, no, no, like lifelink, hexproof, prowess. Madness. Um, madness, menace, something like that. Yes. Buyback? Buyback. Okay. Oh my gosh. Buyback is the, is the, uh, is Andy got the first one. Okay. All right. Use okay above name gets all right. Pixie, give me a noun. Flower. Flower. Okay. Chat. Give me another noun. Do it. Do it, chat. Madness is my favorite too. I love it. <gasps> that reminds me. I should work on my Anji deck. All right. Guy is another noun. Okay. <laughs> Guy. From J JD was the first one. Yep. Um, Efren, all right, give me... Efren's trying to make this dirty. <laughs> yeah. Um, all, right, all right, Pixie, give me. No, hold on. No, I'll do the next one. Uh, okay. Chat, give me an object. Like a tangible object. Ooh. Don't let Efren go Car. first. 
All Please. Right. JD, JD again with a car. <sighs> okay. Okay. Shoof. All right, Pixie. How much change would you have in your pocket normally? Nothing. Or, p- p- or p- pick a number of the change you would have. Five cents. All right, five cents. Okay. Um, Orifice. Okay, so that would be that one. That one. Okay, okay. So, hold on. All right, and then Pixie, name a disease. Lyme disease. Lyme disease. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me just make sure I've got everything here because I, I did this a little bit different here for this one. So. Lyme disease is real, okay? It is. Don't let don't let ticks get on you. All right. So this is a creature. Um, okay. Not a planeswalker card. <gasps> um, I've, I forgot the original creature's name. But um, her name now is Anya Sexy Vampire. Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> okay, I she, like it. She's a legendary angel vampire now, I guess. <gasps> Love it. Um, She's got buyback. Okay. Um, Anya Sexy Vampire gets a flower for each guy whose car total is less than five cents. What? As long as, long as an opponent's car car's total is five cents Anya has Lyme disease <laughs> Lyme disease <laughs> tell me what is wrong oh my with god. you oh my god oh my god that's great <laughs> okay okay I would play it I'd play it yeah Oh, yeah, oh, put it in my, my vampire's deck. Oh, my all right, gosh. All right, all right, all right. We, we've got one last one, and then we can do the uh, Daisy costume one. That was great. Yes. That was great. Anya has Lyme disease. Um, vampire with Lyme disease picked the wrong person to suck. <laughs> For sure. Oh, my gosh. All right. I mean, right. not good. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, all right, chat, give me a noun. I need a noun from chat. Come on, chat. Give us a noun. Dinosaur. Okay. Uh, yeah, dinosaur was the first one. I would not use shit, JD. Um, no. Um, <gasps> JD! P- Pixie, Pixie, name a city. Just use name any city. Nashville. Nashville? Oh, God. I know. I'm sorry. Um... Chat, give me a magic card type. Do it, chat. Give me a magic card type, chat. Instant. Okay. It's the first one. All right. Pixie, your most hated MTG keyword, like indestructible, hexproof, shroud, something like that. Which one is your most hated one that you can think of that you hate to see? Um, I think Voltan's gonna be mad at me, but I'm gonna say mutate. Not because I hate to see it, because but because I don't, I can't play it. All right, all right, chat. Give me another noun. Oh wow, we just got someone just gave Data Storm a tier one sub. Oh, thank you. All right, so JD said poop. Thank you. Uh, JD. All right. JD. I got to use the <laughs> first one. All right. All right. I, enough with like poop and like other bad words and like, and like sex stuff and all that. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, chat. Pick a color. Like a magic color? No, just any color. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. He said poop because he couldn't say shit. Orange, okay. Pixie, pick a food. Um, pizza. All right. All right, Pixie, what is your most hated magic card? Counterspell. Counterspell, okay. 
All right. Um, chat. I'm gonna say this next one and keep it PG. All right. Um, pick a body part. No genitals or anything like that. <laughs> JD typed no. it as I asked it. Hand. Okay. Hand was the first one. Thank you. <laughs> Pe Efren. <laughs> and you you all Zuby's trying to be good here. I'm trying to be good. Efren. Um We got hand. Right. Thank you, Baltan. Yes, I, I prefer hand. Yeah. Um Pixie, give me an action verb. Jump. Jump. <laughs> um Chat, pick another food. Pick a food. Do it, chat. Oh wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, no, no. I no, no, don't pick a food. Um, I'm just kidding. Don't right. do it. Don't do it. Too late. Yeah, too late. Uh, so, um. <laughs> just uh, chat. Name a medicine instead. Name a medicine. Like aspirin? Yeah, something like that. I want chat to pick a medicine. Metamuc Metamucil. <laughs> NyQuil. All right. Okay. Abdubismal. <laughs> okay. okay so here we go so the Rob. card that i picked the last card is gonna be crufix Glucosine? god of horizon oh so, gosh okay all right so it's now crufix dinosaur of nashville <laughs> oh geez okay crufix is a legendary enchantment instant god um with mutate <gasps> as long as your poop is orange oh and your Pizza is less than seven. Crufix isn't a counter spell. You have no hands. If you would jump on your unspent mana, that pizza becomes a NyQuil instead. What? <laughs> oh my god. As long as your poop is orange. We have to play this card. We have to play this. <laughs> Otherwise, Crufix is a counter spell. <laughs> if, yeah. Um, it's definitely not an. Oh my gosh, that's great. Wait, is Crufix an instant? No, it's a creature. It's a creature. Does he have flash? No. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh my, oh my gosh. That was great. We got to do this again. This yeah. Was fun. I like the Mad Libs. I like the Mad Libs. That... It, it, it wasn't that hard to come up with either. It yeah. was. Um, just trying to come up with like random stuff. So this is definitely be another game we'll play with chat. Otherwise, chat Krivix is a counter spell. No. Yeah. No, Krivix is not a counter spell. No. Gross. That would be amazing. I love I am it. sad to put dinosaur in that monstrosity. Wow, how dare you, Baltan? It has mutate, Baltan. Don't you love mutate? Yeah, it's an instant with mutate. What's Makes the sense. problem? What's the problem? This sounds great, honestly. Yeah. What more could you want? I can't wait exactly. to see these cards like as cards. Yes, yes, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, okay. So what are we doing now? I guess since we made our goal, we're you're doing, gonna dress up Daisy. We're dressing up Daisy in a costume. Okay, so this is where we need chat to help us out. Okay, chat. Right now, you need to pick a costume. Just type one word in chat. Queen, dragon, witch, or pumpkin. Going dragon. Okay. Dragon. My vote's for dragon. Okay, so right now, pick one F one word dragon. and type it in the chat. All right, we got three for dragon, one for four for dragon, one for queen, witch. Yas queen. <laughs> the queen. Now, we, all, we all know Daisy's already a queen. Okay, but. this one is so cute on her though because I like put it over her ears and her her little face is just. That, that's how we have the the e the emoji in the Discord, right? We do, we do. Yes, it's true. <laughs> She's great. Okay, so you 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 have dragon third... queen. Ooh. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so you have thirty seconds left to answer right now. Laughless, so dragon. Oh, laughless, yeah, the dragon queen. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. We can try and mix two costumes, sure. 
Now, now it's all. This is all dependent on whether or not Daisy will let us do it. Right. It's true. If not, then your other cat would be like, no. Right? Oh no, she would straight we, up. Sweet Kitty would just be like, oh, uh, uh-uh, uh, no. Because ne- I don't think I've ever seen your other cat on stream. <gasps> no, probably not on stream. No. <laughs> Is Sorry. she one of those skitty kitties that always hides everywhere? Yeah, she's she's she is a lot more scared. And she's old too, so she just yeah. kinda lays around and sleeps. That's like my mom's cat whenever we go over. You you never see her when there's a bunch of people around. Yeah. If yeah. there's a bunch of people, she would definitely be hiding. If there would just be a couple people over, she would come out. But mm-hmm. she would she would not hang out though. She would just be like, "Okay, who's here? I want to smell you." And now I'm gone. Bye. Yeah, my my mom's cat is obsessed with feet. Like it's the weirdest okay. thing. <laughs> She's obsessed okay. with, like she just she will love your feet. Like, but you try to pet her, she's like, "No." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think we have a winner, and I think it's Dragon, so, right? Dragon, yep. Dragon yeah. definitely has the most votes. She's and ready. And see if you could put the crown on, if you can. You want the crown? You want the crown? Okay, she's really going to be a Dragon Queen. We're doubling yeah, up here. Yeah, why not? Okay. Hey, Daisy. Okay, let me see if I can make this. Um, I'm going to do my webcam, just my webcam here. Sure. Hi. Okay, we're going to try and be real chill. So she's, we don't want to upset her. Okay. Who's a good Daisy? She's like, oh, uh-uh, what are you doing? Like, oh, uh-uh. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> she's like, no. Nope. She's already going limp. She's already going limp. <laughs> she's like, nope. I'm done with this shit. No, she's fine. Okay. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Okay, Come on, on, Daisy. Come on, you Daisy. can do it, Daisy. Okay, this... Oh, no. Don't go away. Okay, this goes under her neck. Wait, is this right? Nope. I don't know. I've messed up. Okay, hold oh, on, no. everybody. Oh, no. Okay, we oh, got no. it. We got it, y'all. We got it, y'all. <laughs> Efren, shut up. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, get me. <laughs> Here she is. It's okay. She's like, what are you doing? Don't be Human. scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You look beautiful. Everybody just wants to see you. Okay. Okay. One second. Okay, we're getting the crown on. <gasps> we got it. We got it. We got there. Look. Oh, she's such a cute dragon queen. Look at her. She's like, I hate my life. (laughs) Yeah, she's not happy. She's not happy. (laughs) Yay. We did it. Oh, my God. That's great. We did it. Yes. She's okay. Oh, she's going somewhere. She's going somewhere. (laughs) She going in her. Oh, I feel like her her balance is thrown off. She's like <laughs> wobbling is. around. She's about oh, to... she already took off the crown. I pulled it off. She, oh, okay. She wants to go she's back. Like, nope. She wants to go back to sleep, but she's like wobbling, trying to jump over there. I'm sorry. The chat she's made like, me do it. How could you do that? Yeah, she's mad now. To blame it on the chat. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's gonna get me. That, that that was the red glow I saw. The red glow from her eyes back her when I was a kid. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? She can't She's decide a... what to do right now. She's shook. She is so shook. <laughs> She's like, should I go back? Oh, she's back. Oh, my God, Efren. Imagine if you're trying to sleep and someone just drags you out of bed and shoves you into a dragon costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh i'm sorry daisy i love you she's like whatever human she's like i'm just gonna loaf it up right now oh little meatloaf no oh, cute little daisy oh my god that's too funny she's precious holy shit well thank you everyone so much for your donations tonight yes that was your reward 
Dragon that Flame. That is so awesome, everybody. Yes. And everybody who donated at least $10 during that uh, giveaway, too. Yep. They will be entered. They will be entered in the giveaway. Every like Sweet. every increment of ten. So if you donated more than ten, you get multiple entries oh, into the giveaway. Oh, multiple. Okay, so Coil and donating a hundred dollars, he has would 10 get ten entries. entries. Exactly. Sweet. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, my giveaway. The giveaway will still be open while I'm still fundraising until November seventh. So awesome. I will pull a winner at that point. Yeah. So I guess that's it for tonight. We've we've done all of our shenanigans. We talked about Commander yeah. Legends. We put Daisy in a costume. I mean, what what more could you ask for, honestly? Oh God, yeah, right. It's been it's been great. It's been so great. It's, it's been a fun episode. I've been looking forward to this one. Um, yeah, me too. JD, I will definitely do that. I will D I will DM you my P.O. box. So I will add the thought C's. Thank you so much, JD, Ooh, for adding so cool. that into my giveaway. I really yes, appreciate you. Yes, you are awesome, you. JD. You're great. You're so great. great. The, whole, the whole chat is great. The whole chat is great. Everybody's great. We love y'all. Um, yeah, let's find somebody to go raid, and we're going to get on yeah. out of here. Um, Looks like Mythic Michaela is. Yeah, let's go raid Michaela. She's playing Among Us right now. Yeah. But Among Us is super fun and it's scary. It is. Um, yeah, don't forget, y'all come back right here on Sunday at 7 yes. p.m. Central. We'll be playing Paper EDH with um, Zuby, Efren, and Gavin. So it'll be a really, really fun time. Yes, so, cannot wait. Yeah, join us then. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, hey, Kyoji, we are just signing hey, off. Hey, Kyoji. We'll have to catch up with you later, friend. Have a great night. We love you all. Thank you for being Good night. here. You Bye. all are awesome.